And I'm joining Bryson of Mojo Thunder right here right now. What's good, man? Hey, man. How's it going? I'm doing well. Good to hear, man. Thanks for being back on the show. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. No problem. I enjoyed it last time. Enjoyed it this time. So, um, before we get into Mojo Thunder related stuff, how's everything with the family with this whole pandemic happening? Oh, man, it's, it's going all right. I mean, you know, everyone's kind of having their own difficulties with it. Um, but, uh, you know, by and large, we're doing good. What about yourselves? Doing all right on my end, for the most part. Um, I've been limiting myself going to shows. Um, anybody that knows me for the past five years, I, I'm always at a show every weekend. Uh, yeah, that has not been the case since March of last year. That's when the the pandemic came in effect. And I think I've been to maybe one or two shows, so I'm kind of limiting myself. Um, I feel that. So it's like I, that. I love local music. I love live music. I know you do. I know a lot of people do, but you know, people just. It's it's a gut checking de uh, decision at this point, um, but luckily there's other ways to promote and support artists, buying their music, buying their merch, things like that. So I've been around doing that, um, just keeping things right. going. So um, you've, been, you've done a bunch of uh, you've done a bunch of like uh, web interviews with people too, right? Did you just recently do Mr. Feeny? <laughs> yeah, that too. Yes. <laughs> yes, Mr. Dude, Feeney. Uh, William Daniels. Um, that was pretty cool. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I, uh, that was cool. Uh, you know, and the thing about that is I wanted to do the Feeney call so bad. I was like, <laughs> pause. He's going to think yeah, I'm yeah, weird, yeah. creepy out. You know, he's 93 years old. So um, I don't, I don't want to creep him out. This young yeah, yeah. fellow, like, yeah. crazy Boys Meets World fan. Like, that was my yeah. show back in the 90s. Um, I feel that, man. Me and uh, me and Andrew, when the quarantine first started, we got back into, like, a bunch of, uh, like, old wrestling and Boy Meets World, randomly enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I have all seven seasons on DVD. And I bought those a long time ago. Like, I was a late bloomer, a late supporter. Like, I was watching the reruns on Disney Channel. <laughs> and, then, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. and then I started to watch all, I think I've watched all the episodes by now. And I still bought the DVDs anyway. Just in case in circumstances that we are in right now, when I could just put live TV to the side and just go on, crank up some Boy Meets World, man. Um, take a trip yeah. down memory lane. So yeah, I've been doing the um, the virtual chats with famous people, and that's been a lot of fun. And added some different content. So you know, I'm finding other ways to keep myself busy, even when I'm not at loud crowds events these days. Yeah, um, yeah, looks like you've been killing it. So, so yeah, congratulations to you on keeping it going. Yeah, absolutely, man. So. Mojo Thunder, um, I see that y'all did actually get to perform maybe one or two shows last year. Um, I think y'all yeah. I think y'all perform at the Borough, um, which to this day is still my favorite place to go check out live music. Now, this yeah. is the the video game nerd in me, maybe because of the arcade barrier they have across from the venue, uh, but it, it is an incredible venue, um, and just how they've been able to get music out and having people following the guidelines, which I get is tough to do, you know, it's like, yeah, we talk, you know, up close and everything, and it's like, now you gotta be six feet apart and wear a mask. Um, so from your experience performing during the pandemic, what was that like? Just at least getting out there to perform and uh, just 
seeing the crowd with masks and six feet apart. What was that experience like? Um, well, first of all, just getting to play shows was awesome. That's a, like the one thing about the borough being able to kind of turn their parking lot and be able to still have crowds. But that part was that part was really cool. I enjoyed that. Uh, seeing people in masks and not like on top of each other and sweating and like dancing together that was very strange. Um, I don't know that I'll ever like fully get over that like the, that difference, but but you know by and large, I was like super super happy to be playing. And then, uh, but yeah, man, like the, I mean, you know, obviously I get it for the safety reasons, like a lot of people are doing it and everything, but, uh, it's, it was pretty strange to see people sitting down at our shows and, uh, you know, being seated at a table. That's a, that's not normally <laughs> how our stuff goes. So yeah, it's been a little strange, but like I said, just like super happy to be playing though. For my experience going to a Mojo Thunder show. And I was there when you, um, back in 2019 when y'all had uh, the release party for Loose Lips. Um, yeah, man. That was a lot of sweat that night. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And just, that was a show. That was a show show. And, well, thanks, and excuse that. my language, man, but Loose Lips EP, that was the shit. That was that was dope, man. Groovy, just 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 an incredible project. Um, so that was easily one of my favorite releases of 2019. So I oh, am thank you, man. super excited that y'all have new music on the way. And um, speaking yep. of which, you got a uh, you fellas have a new song called Jack's Axe. Which, yes, from my understanding, will be available on the platforms this coming Monday on February the first. Yeah, man. Yep, that's the deal, yo. So, uh, talk about recording this song, man. How, how's everyone feeling about it as we draw near uh, release day? How y'all feeling about this new song? I feel great about it, man. We uh, we did it at the same place that we recorded Loose Lips. So I have a whole album coming out in May of this year called Hymns from the Electric Church. And uh, this was just the first song we decided to release off of it. Um, we kind of argued around about what singles we would do first and kind of how it was all going to go down. But uh, this one just seemed a little bit more fun. And it's kind of got like an ACDC feel to it. So we thought, eh, why not? We'll send this one out first and see how it goes and kind of play from there. Um uh, another thing I wanted to throw at you, though, you're talking mm -hmm. about coming to that show um, at the Burrow for that Loose Lips release. I appreciated that so much, man, because I've like, done a bunch of interviews with people and I always like invite them out to the shows, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'll be there. And you actually showed up, so that that was awesome. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> like This is amazing. I'm like I'm like the yeah. boogeyman of these shows. I just show up. <laughs> I'm, I'm... Yeah, you do, man. <laughs> So you, uh, that, you walk the walk and talk the talk. Like, like I said, a lot of people stay at home. Like, of course, and now they do anyway. But like beforehand, they'd be like, oh, I'm busy. I can't do it, you know. Yeah. And, but <laughs> I looked up a uh, crowd and I was like, there's Kenny, man. <laughs> Rock on. Yeah, I, that was a fun show. Um, just, I think Ivy Y was there that night as well. Yep. So, yep. and a couple other opening acts. So that that was definitely one of the best shows I've been to ever since I started supporting local music. Um, so that was pretty dope. Shout out to Ivy Y. Shout out to all the bands out there. Um, so be on the lookout for Jack's Axe. Uh, the first single of the new album will be out on the yeah. platforms this coming Monday, February the 1st. And the, the new album. That's right, not EP, full length album coming yes, your way this coming May. Uh, that will also be available on the platforms as well. So, um, obviously, the borough, from my understanding, they're not doing live music like in the building right now. Uh, just Correct. a regular uh, routine bar type of, um, night or whatever. Whatever they gotta mm -hmm. do to keep things, keep business afloat. That's basically what all places are doing these days, anyway. 
Um, so do y'all have any scheduled shows yet, or y'all just in wait and see mode in the coming months? Um, we have, so our release show is tentatively scheduled for uh, June 5th. So, you know, provided they're doing outside shows, then that's a go. And then we booked a few private events. But uh, other than that, and then a uh, Master Musicians Festival down in Somerset, Kentucky. Um, we got booked on that for last year, and I believe the lineup uh, is the same for this coming year. And I think that's in July, if they're going to be able to have it. So everything's kind of up in the air right now with COVID, but we got a few shows in there, mostly outdoor. Okay. I definitely see the bro bringing the outdoor shows back in June. So that definitely feels like a sure thing. Um, and, you know, to my fellow Kentuckians out there, like, I get it that we're going through some trying times right now with this pandemic. And I know that it's tough. We all are trying to adapt and everything. Um, people are so desperately want to get things back to some sort of normalcy. I mean, numbers, I see the COVID numbers. It's, it's pretty up there. It's pretty high right now. So, I um, mean, we as Kentuckians, man, you know, we all got to do better. We got to just, just, just keep, keep doing what we've been doing. And hopefully we get control of this um, COVID so that guys, uh, musicians like Mojo Thunder can, can have these shows and have this release. Um, everything was at a standstill. You know, we were trying to figure out what we were going to do. And now we got, we like nine, ten months into this. And it's like, okay, now that we know what we're dealing with, we know what has to be done.